Dean Ambrose, or John Moxley, as you guys know in the indie circuit, is a internet darling. At the same time, he deserves this internet darling fame. Why? Because he isn't overly fancy, but however, he is very entertaining to watch. And one of my founding fears for this character, especially his character in general, is he's a wild card. He acts just like Brian Hillman, he has the, the Roddy Roddy Piper in him, and I'd see this guy going good places. At the same time, I really do hope that the people behind WWE we do not use him in a bad manner. How? Let me explain. Every single wrestling match has a base. You have two characters who enact a moveset. In this moveset, usually base two can help each other out and help each other dance. This, of course, equals how the match looks. So, they're pretty much like dance partners with spandex on. It's pretty much like a ballet with uh, with boots. So, you, you look at this whole situation and you go, Okay, so this big guy is throwing this little guy around and has a squash match. Little guy makes the moves look more effective because he's tiny and the big guy can, you know, look dominant. That's pretty much how it works with WWE. And what happens now, since they removed this weight division stuff, made it so everybody can get a shot at any title they want, it pretty much ruined the whole entire base. And I think a lot of the people in the back kind of noticed this, kind of shake their head and go fuck it and go back to these old indie circuits, because at least they can perform at a decent pace. I mean, you have many wrestlers who left WWE because of this idea. Is it because they're disgruntled employees? Yes and no. It's because, quite frankly, it's hard to work. How? Because you have people like Lord Tenside. Do not get me wrong, A-Train is a fantastic wrestler. I thought he was in New Japan Pro Wrestling. I thought he was good in WWF and slash WWE before he left and went to New Japan. I think he's a great wrestler. However, with Dean Ambrose, I don't think that would be a good pairing. I think, honestly, they need to bring back a cruiserweight division. A lot of people bring up this point. Because you have these young, talented wrestlers who are skinny, don't quite have the big muscular build, who are trying to compete with heavyweight title uh, brackets, and it does not look very good because it looks sloppy. Because you have people such as Brian Danielson, which is, uh, it, it just breaks my heart with this guy. Am I some sort of mark for Daniel Bryan? Absolutely, yes. I think he's a fantastic and talented athlete. He's a very nice gentleman overall. So, you know, he deserves a little bit, you know, to be able to show off what he does and does well. Does he blotch a little bit? Yes. There's high pressure. It usually happens. On top of that, you know, it happens to everybody. No one's perfect. I've seen many talented wrestlers such as Chris Jericho, uh, CM Punk, and, you know, Bret Hart. Uh, plenty of wrestlers out in the back in the day who blotch. It, it is no different than anybody else. However, looking at this whole entire thing, I just hope Dean Ambrose can do well in the company. Yes, there is really rare and in between for the Raven style gimmick, such as, you know, Randy Orton trying to do as well these voices in my head. He's a very talented wrestler. I will not doubt that. And it's kind of like, I'm watching some sort of anime segment that doesn't make any sense. At the same time, you know, whatever, the tri Randy Orton's doing his gimmick, all power to him. But, you know, I don't really pay attention to wrestling for him. I like the Cruiserweight division. Why? Is it over exciting? Yes, it adds more than these simple, you know, freaking elbow drops and all this other thing. I mean, I like exciting wrestling. It's just crazy, uh, gymnastical style moves. At the same time, I like traditional British style wrestling. I like, you know, Lichadora uh, wrestling and... It's just, I like a good mix in my pot, you know what I'm saying. I like a company that's able to provide all the entertaining aspects of their company and be able to provide such as grappling, high-flying, you know, suspense, who did this, who did what. Even though most of the storylines have been done already, I could look at uh, Imbros and say at least he'll provide something a little bit more edgier for the company as it comes in the future. But in closing, I do hope that they can at least let him be himself allow him to perform at least with guys with around his weight level so that way he can be able to educate everybody on why he is such a internet darling i mean heck i wish this could have happened for many of the guys such as tyson kidd and all that too but at the same time what can you do i mean as long as you have these muscle bound guys such as uh vince mcmahon and all these other guys doing you know doing the shots you're not going to see too much of these middleweights going against middleweights anymore it's going to be just mixing clusterfuck of a you know a base for these wrestlers am i totally disappointed with the wwe recently no i think there's some good traits at the same time i just do hope that they can be able to in the future improve and allow their uh, wrestlers to perform with people that are actually the same weight division and that's my whole entire rant i'm sorry if i went rambling too much but you know that's all i gotta say about this so take care everybody and see you guys later